Hi guys. Um, so when you are saying this, I just wanted to start off by saying hope you guys are doing well. So I just want to start by grounding out this connection to anybody who sees this. This is a collective reading and this is something different that I've just been wanting to try to see how it goes. So instead of a regular tarot, and we all know me, I specialize in free tarot. I don't like restrictions so I don't read in combinations very often or spreads or anything of that that nature like so we're gonna do something different so tarot so this reading is a collective reading of what's going on in the collective anybody who watches this video and it may resonate with you it may not now but whatever time space continuum you were watching this on this is just what the cards are doing so instead of reading tarot cards i am going to read uno cards and see how this comes through so spirit we invoke you in the safe space please give us accurate and complete messages so we have the one of green so in this card the one green one so in greens would signify say like pentacles red would be say swords yellow would talk about the wands and you know obviously blue would be cups in this instance and then you can attribute the reverse the pluses whatever as whatever arcana cards may come through right um that resonate specifically for the moment the reading so with this green one what is going on in the collective with this green one oh, it just flew out So we have a wild so it's like some of you are left up to your own devices or feeling like it's just I'm, I'm getting this in my head is something swimming through like large oceans and large waves and it's just going like this so some of you are just I heard like y'all are being like way too wild <laughs> or you're not being called enough to be wild like you're not you're getting back into your your touch with your your finances and your budgets but with this this pentacle because i'm assuming this would be you know say your aces right zero through one so what i get with this is saying sometimes you need to free up your finances some of you may be going through a hard time so i'm really being called to say that you need to stay within your means with the holiday seasons i know some of you like to go lash you know lavish but i'm also hearing that Money is not going to buy you love. Money is not going to buy you happiness. Yeah, it can buy you, you know, nice things or let you live a lifestyle that you want to live or you, you know, you go through. But it's like, don't be extravagant because it's the more you burn money, unexpected things are going to happen. And, you know, you may not have the money to cover it back. Um, For some of you, it's like, don't put yourself in debt. And this is a clear message is don't put yourself in debt for temporary people. Meaning, like, say you have a boyfriend now and it's just, like, you want it, so you're going to give him, like, an expensive watch or an expensive cologne and you know it's not going to be reciprocated back. It's just like, ooh, you know? So, it's like, don't put your money, you know, into situations where money is going to be called. So, use your discernment. This is what you're really actually being told is, like, to stick to your budget. So it's like if you're buying Christmas presents for your kids, like there's just things that they may want that are is going to be temporary, but can you facilitate or your partner or your family members, can you facilitate the love of non-materialism to people who are materialistic? And the answer is not really. You know, it, it's sparse. So this is saying use your imagination and get crafty with your finances is what I'm hearing for some of you. What is going on with the collective? What is going on within the collective? What is going on with the collective spirit? What messages do you have for these people who are coming to this video and seeing this? So we have a three. So the three of the swords. For some of you going through this, this can be a very heartbreaking situation. I'm also seeing that some of you are not over, not necessarily an ex, but I'm also seeing like 
a death of a person like some of you are not over this death like whether this could be like a death of you or a literal death of a loved one um there's just so much grief and anger and upset and i'm also hearing resentment some of you are just truly resentful so we have the nine of cups and this this is reason because it's like whatever you wanted it wasn't it wasn't meant for you like you had hoped and you had dreamed that whatever is going on in your life whatever the situation may be that you had wanted this and when it came out to be that it wasn't it wasn't gonna happen it's left you feeling broken or it made you feel invalidated um but it's really disappointing that you had to walk away from things that you were almost completed it was like for some of you in this case like some of you wanted to get married to this person or you were already married but in this case it's like you had to walk away from the relationship whatever status it may have been and it's something you wanted long term but when you found out the truth and you know saw what it was for reality this is saying that you were disappointed in it because it's like it was almost there it was this close and it's now it's like it's left you broken it's just like how do I begin again after and I just want to tell you like take all the time you need to grieve and to let things go because just the things that were coming through and we have like the draw swap hands and I really feel like you were seeing things from your point of view instead of seeing what was you know played against you you you're just like why you know in your head like why did someone do this to me like how could you do this they didn't give you a real answer and this is saying that using a different viewpoint or a higher viewpoint is actually needed for you to understand that once you gain this viewpoint on why the perpetrator did this then it will set you free because i feel like a lot of times we want closure and we want explanations but you're not getting them and so you feel like you're owed something is what i'm hearing i'm literally seeing someone do this like they're owed something I'm not going to go into details in what this you feel like you, you're being owed or what you should be given. What is going besides heartbreak or any situation of heartbreak? What is going on in terms of energy or spiritual enlightenment? What? Um, hmm. In terms of spirit, in terms of spirit, in terms of spirit, in terms of spirit, what is going on? So some of you need to re-look at your situation or you need to rethink the situation because whatever you are doing may not be the best for you and I'm sorry for the creaky bed. Um, you are just on a path of destruction is what I'm getting. It's just like, sorry about that. Um, you're just in a path of destruction. For some of you, it's a path of destruct, you know, um, necessary destruction. So this could be the tower moment that you really need to. Um, some of you actually like going back to rethinking your actions. Some of you are just like blatantly following things or believing certain things because it's worked for others and that's not always the case because what works for someone is not going to work for you it's basically a general guideline i guess but it's like you have to be discerning because everyone's spirit is different from the other it has a different purpose so you can't just group everyone into one specific category because it's not how that works um yeah we all have an arch type but some of us just don't. So you feel like you're never getting to the point where it, it's not working. And it's like, do I take this cup or don't I? So some of you are needing to walk away. Some of you actually have where you're feeling like you're, you're buying illusions is what I'm getting. It's like you blatantly follow because it's hype. Or it's like, oh, this can make me a lot of money without putting in the effort is what I'm getting for two separate things. Some of you are just like, 
you're judgmental of yourself so it's like why isn't this working why isn't and it's just like you got to relinquish everything because it's like when you keep checking that energy and it just goes round and round and round in this circle especially with this eight of cups is like basically taking something and walking away it's feeling disappointment at some time at some point that you got all the way to this journey and you've been through all this shit and you feel like it's got you nowhere it's like you were better off before you took this journey for some of you who feel like this um so you need to reconsider for this people who are necessary destruction going through and like destructing their life there's a light at the end of the tunnel it's like you just need to go through your shadow at this point because shadow is what's actually going to make you live in the light just don't dwell in it you know <laughs> i'm seeing the scene in harry potter where you know the um oh my god Mo moving on apparently it's just not that anyways in my head is the time where like harry's in the park and He's picking a fight with Dudley and his, like, crew or whatever and Dementors come through and he uses the wand in front of a muggle and, you know, it's just like, it's like that. Sometimes it's like you're actually picking a fight because of ego and ego's telling you one thing, right? So when shit like this actually triggers the ego, your soul is ready to fight. When in reality, it's like your ego needs to lay down the weapons and allow what is there because you are always going to be protected you cannot cast things away if you were going to pick a fight because that fight is inevitable for some of you um you know but i just that's what i saw for that destruction <sighs> what is going on energetically in this spiritual so we have the four some of you just blatantly you just want too much like you're just never happy of where you are you're like oh there's always room to progress you're not actually letting yourself live in the moment so some of you are just constantly searching for the right person or the right thing or the right partner or the right union and this is saying like you're expecting too much out of someone who is just there temporarily like when you actually have a meaningful relationship are you actually driving that person away are you destructing that relationship because you don't know how to handle it? So the three, right? A pentacles is saying that instead of feeling like you're holding on to something or you feel like you're sharing is what I'm getting. is like you are sharing something with someone else. Like you're sharing your happiness or you're sharing this person or your finances with other people that it's no, it's no longer yours you're responsible for something other than yourself and it's just like you're not looking at the bigger pictures when i get off of that and a part of it is because you are only seeing a picture that's this you're only seeing so much and this is saying you have a need to protect yourself in reality it's just like you're using an armor and it's leaving you disappointed and disillusioned because it's like your goals are not realistic or what you believe in is not realistic because it's like it's not, it's not tangible, right? So it's like you're constantly always having cards stacked against you or like you're building a foundation on like a house of cards. It can blow away at any time. And for some of you, it's like you need to celebrate yourself, celebrate your, you know, your victories and, and know that whatever you have going on, right, it needs to be planned out, it needs to be methodical, but I'm also hearing that some of the best things in life are the things that you will never see coming, it's, it's these things that actually make you appreciate life more, so for some of you who are chasing this soulmate, this twin flame, or this, this runner chaser, whatever you have going on, right, it's going to leave you constantly wondering so for those who are in a doubting situation i want to tell you there is improvement there is literally improvement however you need to pull yourself back you need to call back your energy you need to basically own your energy and send it elsewhere because that doubt and that need to control things is not working for you because it's causing conflict 
for some of you, you're, and I, I hate to say this because there's always someone for someone at one point, like that's just human nature. But I want to tell you, for those who believe in the notion, some of us have twin flames. Some of us are stuck with, I don't want to say stuck because they, they tend to be like the love, right? Of this human experience. I want to tell you that some people just, they're destined to be by themselves. They're destined to be loved by themselves because they know how to handle themselves better than any other partner. Or they love themselves, they devote themselves to something other than a partner because, you know, they could be, they're they're in love with their work. You know, they, they're free. They don't need a partner to hold them back or, you know, to accelerate them because they're fine on their own. They're like... To be honest, it's like they have their own system and that's how that system works. For some of you, if you continue to have a system like this where it's basically it's I'm out for me and I'm not out for my my other half. Like if I can't open up and play as a team player and I can't accept them as equal to me because it's like you're not completing me. You're uh, basically either mirroring or you're bettering. There is no completion because you have to be complete yourself. You're a completely, you're a complete person on your own. It's just whatever you tell yourself that you're lacking that someone else can make up for. That's not how that works. It's how a lot of us fall into this to be like, oh, this person is not good enough for me. Some of you would just have ridiculously high standards. And this is why it's got you into trouble. Like I'm, I'm saying set your boundaries. You can be all the self-love, whatever. I'm going to get crap for this in the comments. Okay. But I want to tell you, some people have ridiculous standards and you being idealistic, being the fact that you're not actually being realistic. Like, do you know what you want in a partner? Like, realistically, I'm not just saying someone who's going to love you unconditionally all the time. We all want it. But is it in our contract to actually have that? Because all souls are capable of it, whether it comes out, it's the human vessel to attribute who it gives it to, right? Who is it determined to be with? So I want to tell you, sometimes humans have a ridiculous notion that's preconceived because how we grow up or the environment in which we grow up is it's ridiculous we see broken patterns all the time we see broken cycles that affect us until we decide to say i'm done and remove that that imprint i feel like a lot of people will have that problem until they decide to take a stand and held themselves accountable to be like i'm not going to be how the previous generation before me or my ancestors are some of us we don't want to to see that we don't want to take accountability for other people because it's like we're only accountable to ourselves and I'm one of those people it's like whoever did what in the past that was on them because they got me here right as a team they didn't know that they were passing on me you know to me you know inherited I look out for myself and that's what's got me into trouble because then I had to realize I'm a part of a system and a pillar of a structure that's made up of millions and billions of life forms that is connected intricately every to every single one of these precious lives. Whether we realize or not, we all share a common thread. We all share this planet. We all share one another, even when we don't think about it. If humankind stopped to realize that we are all interconnected because of this web to what we live in, along with other animals, like I feel like a lot of times it would stop that selfish mindset because we're no longer thinking with I, I'm the center of my universe. That bubble bursts and it causes you to accept that it's not all about the egotistical I, you know? You are a clog mechanism in a greater system of clogs that cohabit everything. So working together and cooperating with other people is very intricately accepted and it's needed. Because it's like when you put yourself aside and you work on your side and you work on your mission, other people can piggyback that. And do their work. I'm not saying be selfish because you're going to have selfish pricks that think that your work is entitled to them. No, no, no. I'm saying the actual beneficial work that is needed for the next person to piggyback off of you. That is meant to take your 
you and expand. So until you're ready to open your love and your life to unconditional love, because unconditional love is letting a person see you as your most vulnerable, as your weakness, and not knowing that they will literally make you feel like not shit. <laughs> They'll love you regardless of how you look and how you act. And they want to better that. They want to expand that. They want to teach you things that you didn't understand. They're not here to judge you. And it's just like if you have to be judged by someone or you have to walk on eggshells or wonder if this person's going to accept you, that is doubt. If that person treats you like that, that is not love. Because the right person will know exactly instinctually. They will know intuitively. Because they will know you. They will know your soul. They know how to handle you. And so a lot of people, we spend a lot of time idealizing the perfect partner for us. That we stop to think, how do we become that perfect partner for ourselves? So that is the message I got for this collective reading. Thank you guys. Peace, love, and happiness. I love you guys. Bye.